take a look at problem three. <clears throat> this is fine equation line. It contains a point negative two, negative one, and it's perpendicular to the line, and it gives you that. Well, let's refresh our memory. Finding equation of the line uh, passing through a point and perpendicular to a given line. I seem to have more trouble highlighting stuff anymore. I don't know what's easiest thing in the world on the computer, and I can't seem to do it with my mouse. Maybe my mouse is going. Okay, step step one. Oops. So step one. Um, yeah. Find m. One point one is right to given line. Right, the given line in slope intercept form. Identify the slope and uh, perpendicular lines have uh, slopes that are negative reciprocals. spell it but uh, so take the slope from 1.2 flip it and change the sign the uh, flip it is the reciprocal part and change the sign is the, the negative part step 2 plug in the given point for X and Y and M from 1.3 into Y equals MX plus B and solve for B. And step three, write your answer. I'm going to go ahead and work this problem using these steps and then I'll um, talk about how parallel would be different. Um, perpendicular is actually the harder one. Okay, so um, it's passing through negative 2, negative 1. And perpendicular to y is equal to 4 fifths x plus 2 fifths. Now step 1. That was to find, um, find m. And then within that we had 1.1. It says write the given line in slope intercept form. That means solve for y. Well, this one's already solved for y, so it makes it a little bit easier. But if it wasn't, then you'd have to get y by itself. 1.2 was to identify our slope. If you got that in um, in slope intercept form, your slope is whatever's before your x. So the slope would be 4 fifths. Now, 1.3. We're going to start with the slope. So start with the slope from 1.2. We're going to write it in fraction form. So write it in fraction form. Well, this one's already in fraction form, so we won't have to do anything. But if you had like a 6 there, you would put 6 over 1. You can always create a fraction by putting it over 1. Then we're going to flip it. That's the reciprocal part. Reciprocal means fraction flipped. Um, of course, if it has, has to be a fraction, that's why we have to create a fraction first. And then change the sign. That's change, not chance. Change its sign. Now this is for a uh, perpendicular. Parallel is a lot easier. Parallel is just equal to uh, the the four fifths. So the 
the M we're trying to find isn't going to be negative 5 fourths. Now come over here, step 2 says to plug in the given point for x and y. This is your x and this is your y. So we'll plug negative 1 in for the y. Now m from uh, 1.3 was negative 5 fourths. So we'll put that in. And x was negative 2 and then plus b. And then we want to solve for b. Well, negative times negative is positive. Uh, this gives us 10 fourths plus b which reduces to 5 halves and then I'll take the 5 halves over the left side becomes a negative 5 halves now this is a mixed number um, you can take the negative 1 times a 2 gives you negative 2 and add the negative 5 and that gives you negative 7 so that becomes negative 7 halves now the key to this is, uh, if you got a negative in front of the fraction you have to put that negative up with the top part like I put it on the 5 you can't put it on the 2 uh, so again, negative 1 times a positive 2 gives me a negative 2 and add the negative 5 and that gives me a negative 7. And a lot of people forget uh, step 3. Write your answer down. Well, we found the M uh, back from step 1 was negative 5 fourths. And B is negative 7 halves from step 2. Uh, negative 5 fourths x minus 7 halves looks like D as in David. Let's go double check that. Yep. And then let's talk about how it would change for um, for parallel. So find equation line passing through a point and parallel to a given line. Now step one still find M. Uh, write the given line slope intercept form, identify the slope, and um, parallel lines have same slope, so M equals the slope. Let me get this right here. There we go. M equals the slope from 1.2. Like I say, it's the easy one. Once you identify the slope in 1.2, then um, that is your M. And then the uh, last steps are still the same. Uh, plug in a given point for X and Y and, and M from 1.3 into Y equals MX plus B and solve for B and then write your answer.